everybody. Long time no see. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe it's not that I'm sick. I think it might just be horrible allergies of me, my daughter, and my husband. I think we might have started out sick, but I'm still not feeling well. I mean, it's like I'm not sick, but my throat, my ears, uh, my, my nose. Anyway, so... <laughs> I'm not up to par today. I think I cut my bangs too short. I can't get them to stay down. But I'm here. Um, I missed you guys. And I want to do um, the 70s look. And one, what I noticed about the 70s was that they used um, like one color. Like blue or green. And it was like the only color they used like on their entire eye. All the way like up to the brow. <laughs> Um, I couldn't find, um, I, since I did blue last time, I wanted to do green today. And I'm using, um, a color from Mary Kay from the 80s. <laughs> and it's called Leaf Green. It was the only green that I found that was a true green. In my 120s, it's all, um, you know, like yellow greens and I didn't want that. So, I'm using a color called Leaf Green because it's a true green. It's a medium green. And, like, that's the type of colors that they use. Um, I am going to put this on my eyes. I didn't even put um, a, um, a base on. I have a primer, but not a base. Because in the 70s, it, it, they started having a more fresh-faced look. They... Um, You know, the hippie era had come in the 60s, and as, at least in New York, it was well alive. The hippie culture was still well alive into the 70s. Um, and they just basically had that fresh, more of a fresh face look. And they used that one color all the way up. I'm just going to, like, soften it as I go up but for the brow under the brow bone I'm still gonna use <laughs> I'm still gonna use a something so I just decided to go with my American mineral powder in the a, a lighter beige color I'm just gonna use that in on in my brow bone I was thinking of using white I think so it looked like some of the women did use white in the pictures I found but just gonna go with a light beige um i'm just gonna use regular eyeliner and mascara and basically this is all that they really did was just use one color on the eyes and i'm gonna use um like a peachy orangey colors on the cheeks and the lips again it was like more of a fresh face look so i'm just gonna use regular eyeliner mascara and um finish my makeup and i'll be right back Hey everyone, so the 70s, Hawaii, um, I'm uh, quite honestly, I don't remember when they became a state, <laughs> um, but I know Hawaii was in, hippie culture was in, flower power was in, um, and so I put braids in my hair. I know that um, uh, Native American awareness was um, in as well. So they were putting braids in the hair. For some reason, this braid got lost. <laughs> there you go. They were putting braids in their hair. You know, the frilly jackets. Uh, so this is what I decided to do for my 70s look. Um, for the pictures, this eye might be messed up. I poked myself in the eye. All the mascara got into my eyeshadow. I was trying to fix it. So <laughs> that's that. And I took another look at the picture. Since I've been sick, I've just been a little off. So it, it is white. They did use white uh, on the brow bones. So I put some some white, uh, my Manic Panic Virgin white. For my cheeks, I just used my NYX. I mixed my cinnamon with my peach, which is this color and this color. Um, and then I used my NYX um, Luscious Lip Gloss Palette in Sweet Oranges. And I... 
pretty much just mixed all those colors together to get this nice um because they use like a soft frosty like orange glossy type lips um so yeah this was this was the 70s <laughs> um so yeah i did also notice that this uh like like models look like they were they wore the fake lashes but it looks as though they wore the individual lashes um they, they this is when they um I, I guess because of the 60s with ziggy uh putting fake lashes underneath i noticed they were putting mascara underneath they didn't wear too much of a dark eyeliner. Some people, it looked like mostly the models, wore their eyeshadow and liner underneath, uh, like like a liner underneath. And I noticed they used, um, in the pictures, a lot of them had the white liner um, in the waterline. So, um, so um, you know, that's that with the 70s. As I said, they had the hippies culture. And um, for at least for me, it was well alive into the 70s. You had the disco culture, you had the punk culture starting, and I believe the goth might have come in late 70s, early 80s. So, um, not sure what I'm gonna do next week, not sure I'm gonna go through all of that, but uh, I'm leaning towards mostly doing the really bold, colorful, uh, you know, bright in your face makeup. Um, okay, so that's it for the 70s.